Hi, good morning. Um, I thought I'd share with you one of my daily practices and it's to work on just, it's a collaged piece of card um, and I randomly collaged them. Uh, I've got some others here. So these were just cards I painted and um, I've added different bits of paper to it and then I set them aside and then recently I thought I want to do I want to make them into something rather than just have them sit in there they were too thick to um, incorporate on a journal page in the sense of you know a collage paper so all I did recently was <clears throat> kind of identify the shape of a face and the body and just added some paint to each of them randomly and then again set them aside and so what happens now is that each morning I take the next one out and I start a process of creating a face so just adding colour and then adding the features like for this one I can already see um, very faintly some um, features and so all I do sometimes I use this um, which is a water soluble graphite pencil uh, graphite crayon um, and then I would maybe just outline areas that I can see so I can see her mouth part of her nose there and obviously we've got the shape of the face but it doesn't always stay that shape um, and you would have seen some other videos of me just, you know, going with the shape that was here or slightly altering it in a particular way. Um, but I like this, what I have so far, in that you've got the different fabrics, uh, papers that I've used. This is a more kind of textured fabric and then you've got some really colourful fabric and I actually like this as her clothes so I won't be altering um, this too much and then where I've added the paint around the edges it's kind of defined her face to an, a certain extent and also the shadow that you would get under the chin depending on the way the light was shining if the light was shining um, kind of like on top there you would get a shadow and um, I like the way that this sh this shading has formed, you know, just accidentally. <clears throat> so I'm going to fast forward the process so you see the rest of the video and how it comes together as a mini painting. Um, the size is, uh, let's see, two and a half inches by seven and a half. They're all slightly different sizes but this is the general size. <clears throat> and you'll also see the others that have been painted in this way. So without further ado, I'm going to get on.